and welcome to Gary Vapes and this is week 257 of my DIY Mix and Review and today we are looking at Caramel Vanilla Swirl Marshmallow. Okay, so as I said today, we are looking at Caramel Vanilla Swirl Marshmallows. Um, this can be found on all the flavours, link in the description down below if you want to check it out for yourself, but this is the actual recipe. Now, there's a bit more going on with this than I'll say right here, but we'll talk about that more in a minute, but this is a base mix of something else, slightly tweaked, but as I say, we'll talk about that in a minute. But right, let's not mess around, let's get mixing up, we can try to shake a vape, and as always, I've got one pre-steeped and ready to go. Okay, so I uh, guess what? I'm making a 30 mil mix. <laughs> so I've got my 30 mil bottle here with my nicotine in there, and I got me lid and my little dripper top thing. I got me scales, and I got me VGPG. I'll be using this one. It's a base mix, basically. So it's already mixed for you. The VG and PG put together just saves you having to mess around with two different bottles. I'll be using an 85% VG, 50% PG. Reason for that is by the time I've had my nicotine and my different flavorings, it will bump that up to more like a 70 30, which is where I like it. So as far as flavors go, you. Don't need many for this recipe. You are going to need caramel from FA, Capella Super Sweet, toasted marshmallow from TPA, and lastly TPA Vanilla Swell as well. So yeah, nice simple recipe. So let's not mess around. Let's get mixing up. We can add them in as they recommend. Then we could try as a shaker vape. And as always, I've got one pre-steeped and ready to go. Okay, so we're back up, and here is the shaker vape. Um, and yes, and I did say this is kind of a base mix sort of added to, um, and this is the main reason I actually chose this recipe, because this is the sort of thing that I like to see, especially for new mixers and even experienced mixers themselves, um, to find a good base mix that you can then use in other recipes of your own is fantastic um, and i will leave the description in the link of this form that he talks about but basically it this is an actual caramelized vanilla swirl toasted marshmallow it says that i saw the basic recipe only with tpa vanilla swirl together with tpa toasted marshmallows in elr formula as i uh, form, as i say down there um, but basically it's a two flavor ingredient thing that you can use in other stuff quite simply and which is fantastic to see so basically you can use that for your base marshmallow and then from there you can take it wherever you want so that is fantastic to see it doesn't say the amount of the two flavors sounds high but believe me they're exactly right in the past i've combined these two flavor recipes with some of the other flavors um, almonds some fruits nuts but aside from the basics recipe itself i enjoy it mostly with caramel so all the flavors and the sweeteners are, are sweet enough on their own but i enjoy the recipe with a drop of capella super sweet per 10 ml so again give you information love that because again it sounds silly but i remember when i first started admittedly it's a bit different now there's a lot more online and a lot more help out there and generally the community is fantastic anyway but i was kind of like well, people keep saying add super sweet but how much do i add and it, as you'll know if you've not tried it you only need a little bit you go too much and it can just literally take over the recipe so it's great that that's in there so for beginners and that, i love that um but basically he goes on to say you know you, you can make this with loads of different things and um, he says he enjoys it from three days but the caramel gets stronger with the days that you leave it um he's tested on a few other things stuff like that so yes it's only four ingredients so it's using them to base marshmallow flavors um but yeah it's gonna be interesting to see as it says he does say it sounds high and it does sound high when i mix this up i even had to double check because it was five percent and five percent which is yeah quite strong let's be honest um but i'm i'm willing to believe him in what he says um but yeah i guess there's only one way to really try it and that is to try it so right as always we shall test it on my water foam jura mod with my gunard a on top same build and everything that i've done from the very very beginning try to keep that stability going obviously start changing coils stuff like that you get different flavors and i didn't want to miss out on a good flavor because of some stupid build that i decided to put in my rda and um, it's basically a bit of stainless steel wire it's wrapped six times on a 3.5 mm rod like you get in any sort of diy coil building kit something like this it's the one with 35 on it basically wrap it around there six times do do it twice and then stick them in your rda and today it's coming out at 0.27 ohms. Um, what he does say as well is, um, where was it, where was it? Um, let me know what you think. Oh, I'll find it in a minute. But it does go into more detail. It's worth reading the description if you go check out this recipe. As always, it is in the description down below. As I say, along with that form as well for you to have a little bit of a read up on that as well. Because it's always great to see when people sort of explain the things that they do and stuff like that. It really, really helps. Especially for us mere mortals who are just generally throwing flavors together and wishing for the best um it's nice to know there's some method to the madness basically um now 
it, this is only two months old as well, so it is going to be interesting to see what it's like. There's, I don't think there's any, no, there's no reviews on it. Um, so yeah, going to be interesting. So, all right, let's give it a go, shall we, and find out. But I say, if it, if that base mix in there is good, then that's fantastic because, as I say, to be able to then add that into your own flavors, for example, I don't know, it, it may not work, but let's just say you want to make a lemon meringue and you've been struggling with the meringue marshmallowy side. To, you could sort of then use your flavors that you've been using for that, remove the marshmallowy meringue flavors you have been using, add this and see what it's like. So it really can be helpful, especially for beginners. So let's give it a go. As far as smelling that goes, it just smells a bit like super sweet, if I'm honest with you, but let's give it a go. Okay, it doesn't taste like a lot at the moment, if I'm completely honest with you. It's got that dryness to it that creams can generally have before they've steeped. Um, as far as actual steep days go, he does say just free. As he said in the description, it gets better with time. But at the moment, if I'm honest with you, it just tastes like a, a generic crappy cream. Or I should say a generic sweet crappy cream um, because there is obviously that super sweet in there which is giving it that nice little pop at the end. Um, but yeah, it doesn't taste fantastic. No real caramel coming through that either. Now you are using 1.5% of FA caramel, but yeah, it's just like a crappy cream. Okay, so um, yeah, as he says, three days minimum. I've left mine for two weeks, so let's change these cottons and see what that steak one's like. Okay, so yes, yeah, so I've changed the cottons and been loading it up. Um, yeah, that was a little bit disappointing, if I'm completely honest with you. I was expecting a bit more. I got so excited about the description and everything that, I don't know, I thought I'd be getting more off that. Um, obviously, it, it does need sleeping, even if it is for three days. Um, but yeah, a little bit... A little bit disappointing. Say so it had that dryness as well, which I'm not a big fan of, but you do generally get that with creams to begin with. Um, I was a little bit surprised with how dry it was, though, seeming it had the Capella Super Sweet in there, but, hmm, okay. Um, well, let's give it a try, I suppose, and see what it's actually like, but let's try now. I'm hoping that it's improved quite a lot. Okay, it's definitely got better, but as always, this is an honest channel. I will only be honest. It's it's not as good as I was hoping it was going to be, if I'm completely honest with you. It is still quite muted. There is a, still a slight dryness to the very, very end. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I picked this up too much in my head, but I thought this could be something incredibly, incredibly good. Um, it feels still like it is that base mix type flavour, if I'm honest with you. It still feels like it needs something else added to it. Um it's almost like he's taken that marshmallow creamy flavour and made that better, but not quite finished the recipe, which I don't believe that's what he was going for. He's obviously going for a caramel vanilla swell flavoured marshmallow, but I'm not getting that. The, the, the caramel isn't strong enough for me. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still quite nice, but... It's not as good as I thought it was going to be, and it has still got that little dryness at the very, very end. Um, it's not how I would imagine biting into the real marshmallow with caramel would have tasted. It's it's too muted. It's not quite quite what I was hoping for, if I'm completely honest with you. But and it's not bad. I, I, I can't be too critical. It still tastes quite nice. It's just not as good as I was hoping it was going to be. Um, yeah, it definitely still feels like it needs a little bit more doing to it, quite simply. Hmm. Yeah, let me have a little bit more of a vape and I think. Yeah, it, it really does come down to that. It's still still too dry at the very, very end for me. It's leaving my mouth feeling dry now, which I'm not a big fan of anyway. Um, some people don't mind it, some people quite like it. But for me personally, yeah, it's just too muted. It's It's not... It's not as good as I was hoping it was going to be. I've tried better marshmallows. I've tried better caramel flavoured marshmallows. Um, I don't know. I kind of maybe big this up too much in my head. Um, but yeah, feel a little bit disappointed with it, which is, you know, no dig at anyone or anything like that. You know, I'm just telling you my honest reviews. Someone else might try and love it. In fact, do let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Maybe it's just me. Um, but yeah, it's just not as good as I was hoping it would be. It still feels like it needs things added to it and... 
sort of pushed on to that next level, um, which is a bit of a shame. But yeah, as always, a massive thank you to all the guys and girls who put their recipes online for us to try and play with and stuff like that. But yeah, just feel a little bit, a little bit disappointed with it, should we say. But um, yeah, anyway, I guess you don't know until you try them and we've tried it and there you go. So, but yeah, do let me know what you thought of it if you have tried it down below. Say whether it's just me, whether it's something I've done wrong, whatever it may be, I'd, I'd love to know what you think as well. But yeah, just feel a little bit, a little bit let down by it, but never mind. Anyway, that's probably going to be the last one of these videos for this year. Um, I'm going to take a couple of weeks off, if I'm honest with you. It gets quite hard doing all this with work and stuff like that as well. So I'll probably see you in the new year. I might do one in between. I might get bored and think, sod it, I want to do it. But um, I'm going to, the idea was I was going to take a couple of weeks off now and have a little bit of a play myself with my own recipes and stuff like that, which I don't get time to do often enough, unfortunately, which is... The whole point why I started this, I love mixing e-liquids, so um, I'm going to try and do that, but I might get bored and bring a video up. Um, but if I don't, I hope you all have a great Christmas and, um, yeah, a good new year. And uh, I'll see you in the new year if I don't see you before.